The new Energy Jobs Fund has just been announced and that's providing a million dollars for community-led renewable projects. So um, the background for this one is there's been a lot of community-led projects uh, that have you know, starting to evolve over time. So they've started to invest money into that, um, certainly in the regional areas. So the objectives of this program are to increase the uptake of renewable energy, um, promote uh, community participation and obviously reduce greenhouse uh, emissions. Um, so this has been obviously spurred on by a change in what's happening in regional areas uh, and demand for renewables and you know, better sourced um, electricity. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so community, community groups are, are leading this. Um, so what I've done, I've put the, uh, I've gone into the application form and put that into the PowerPoint format so we can see what are the main aspects that you need to focus on for this grant. So the first start is why you're doing this project. So that's 20% uh, of the merit criteria. So the key here is to describe the problem um, that your project is addressing. So you might have poor energy um, as part of the problem, or you may have an opportunity that there's been a, a lot of support for this project. So um, in order to do that, you need to demonstrate what work you've done um, initially to, to get this project uh, off the ground. So show me the demand for this project. Show me what are the, the, going to be the benefits of it. Um, and so the next part is obviously the change. So um, how does this project align with the objectives? So is it going to be a large uptake of renewables, um, the energy justice and social benefit for the community? and um, how have you promoted the community benefit. So the second part is what will be delivered. So this is a bit easier. Um, you want to obviously demonstrate that you've thought about all the activities that will be undertaken, what you're going to buy, what you're going to need to be installed, and who's going to do it. So the more you can do to prove that you've thought about this, um, and you've done um, everything that's required uh, for the project, uh, is going to be highly regarded. So put together a scope of what you need and get your ducks in a row. So start ensuring that this project is going to be shovel ready. So they want to be able to give you the contract and then on day one or day two, you can actually place those orders and get moving. So you, if you've got all the approvals together, you've got all the quotes organised and all you need to do is just you know, pay a deposit and things get moving, um, that's going to look great for the project. Um, so the other aspect that you want to have a look at is uh, the business model. So how have you integrated the business model into this grant application or into this project? So who's going to pay for the various aspects? How are they involved in the project? Um, you know, who, what is the, the demand for this? So the next part is who's going to benefit from the project? So this is where you just don't want to be starting from scratch. You want to show very strong stake, stakeholder engagement. So you want to have surveyed the businesses, surveyed the consumers, identify which market segment is going to use it. Um, who are the stakeholders, you know, the, the retailers, the distributors, where is this going to sit? Okay, how are they going to, to pay for this? Um, you know, where is it going to sit within the local community? Is the local community for it or against it? Um, you know, we've seen with wind farms that while it's a great idea, no one wants to see them in their backyard. So what efforts have you taken, or what steps have you taken to show the stakeholder, uh, the stakeholders are on board for this project? So the more you can do to demonstrate that, the better this is going to look. Um, and then the other part is, what are the numbers? So don't just tell me the benefits in general. I want you to be specific about, okay, how many people are going to benefit? What is going to be the price reduction or the price increase for that matter? Um, but you know, are they going to pay for it? Um, um, other things is environmental benefits, um, emissions reductions. Um, if you've got issues with getting access to um, energy in your area, how is this project going to help alleviate those issues? Um, so the more you can quantify the benefits and show the exact deliverables, uh, that's going to look better. So it, it means you can measure in the long term the benefit um, and it shows that you've actually thought a bit more about the project. Um, and then how will it be delivered? So this is really who are you and um, are you good at delivering projects? <clears throat> so the first step is to justify this level of money. So if you're asking for a uh, million dollars but everyone else says they can do it for $100,000, you're not going to get the money. So be able to justify 
why you need the money that you need, and it's the minimum amount that is going to be required to get this project across the line. So then there's also got some templates that you need to use. So one of them is the cash flow template. So look at the expend expenditure timing that you're going to have. So you're going to buy, you know, put deposits in you know, 10 percent down in the, in the first week, and then six months later you're going to get the equipment arriving, and you're going to have to pay some more deliver uh, more money then. So look at um, putting as much detail into that cash flow budget as possible. Um, stakeholder engagement, it's going to look great if you've got surveys, you've got letters of support, um, you know, evidence that you've gone out to the market and you've got a lot of um, interest in this project. Um, then you need, if your project is going to cost them more than a million dollars um, or if it's costing less than that and you want to put in your own money, demonstrate how you're going to get, get that money um, and the best thing to have is cash for that. You don't necessarily need, the cash, you need to use that cash, you can then go and get debt, but if you've got that money available and there's low risk to having that money, it's going to look better. Um, then we go on to the team. So um, look to bring in a team that has done something similar before, they've got big project experience, they've you know, worked for utilities or energy providers, uh, that's who you want on your team. Um, and then there's the timeline, so put together a a simple but um, you know, there's a bit of detail behind the timeline. Don't just say you know, start and finish and don't put in a five page Gantt chart that's been developed by an engineer. So some nice um, clear milestones along the way for the milestones that you're going to hit for this project. Um, and then additionally if you don't get those extra source of money uh, that you need for this project, um, where are you going to get it from? So often this grant might be contingent on getting another grant elsewhere. 